A hearty good morning to all. From my English video course book, I'll explain a lesson for you today. So turn page number sixty. In a page number sixty, we have lesson five, a mysterious lesson, the toy box. The toy box is written by Nicholas Hausberg, in which he has shared his own experience with us. He himself is one of the character in this lesson. Before starting the lesson, let us have some talkings about the characters. In our lesson five, we have two families. According to the first family, there are four characters. First, the father. Second, the mother. Third, Matilda, and fourth, Nicholas. Next, we will talk about the characters of the second family in the second part of the video. So. Let's step into the lesson, the toy box. Matilda, Nicholas, their mom and dad are supposed to move to the new house today, and the duty of the dad is to take his family to the new house. So he takes out his cab and gives their particular seat to be seated. The parents were seated in the front, and the children, Nicholas and Matilda, were in the back seat of the cab. Dad was driving it. The children were told to close their eyes and only open them after the next announcement. Mom had told the children last week that a suitable accommodation had been found and they would be moving today so last week all the packages were packed up and a few suitcases were left over after a few minutes the cab entered a large gate the sweet fragrance of lovely and beautiful flowers started entering the nostrils the twitter of the birds and the buzzing of the bees were heard. It was unbearable for the children to keep their eyes closed. As the cab halted, the father announced the children to open their eyes. Wow! Beautiful! exclaimed Matilda. Wow! Scary! said Nicholas. So, Matilda and Nicholas reacted differently when they viewed an immense building. Nicholas shuddered. Touching the feelings of Nicholas, Dad explained that no one had been living there for some time. So, it was cold and damp. There was a large room at the side of the house. It was on the ground floor, so it was used as a playroom. All the toys were kept in that particular playroom only for playing purpose for the children. An hour later, when Nicholas was left over alone in the playroom, he heard a feeble cry the first time. He thought himself any cat might have entered the room or it might be his imagination. When he pulled a couple of toys from the box, he heard the cry again. He was frightened and shuddered. He screamed and dropped the toy truck and ran upstairs. Matilda and mom were busy arranging the things. Nicholas stood against the wall, paused by a window and viewed the garden outside. He thought, the garden is bright and warm. Everything looked green and fresh. 
I wanted to be out there, but not in that echoing, dark and cold playroom from where I heard that strange noise. Standing alone, showing his back, Mom asked Nicholas. You're very quiet. What's the matter, dear? It's cool and spooky and I don't like the noises it makes, said Nicholas. Mom to Nicholas. Noises? What noises? Nicholas. I heard some noises, Mom. Morning. Coming from a toy box. Mother. Don't be silly. Come, let's go down and listen. You are just like a scary cat. Matilda will come too. And if you insist, I'll get dad too. When they went to the playroom, they heard nothing. No noise, no sound, no moaning, no crying. Nicholas said hoarsely. No mom! It was a cry, a moan, I'm sure. For the next few days or for a week, the same thing happened with Nicholas. A week later, everyone was annoyed with Nicholas. They said that Nicholas was making up the story to get their attention. Now, what twist came in the noises and the toy box will watch in the second part of the video.